just the periodic balloon in the Herald Times. Um, just to start, I want to get your just uh, the story, just what brought you here, because what made you decide that uh, you know it was time to leave North Carolina, and what made Indiana the right place for you, and how do you feel like it's fit for you so far? Um, just the the whole thing with North Carolina uh, just kind of felt like it was it was time for me to make a, a different uh, move, find somewhere else uh, to go. Just felt like. My uh, playing time was decreasing a little bit. My role for uh, the team was kind of decreasing. So I just felt like I just needed to uh, transition to another place because I know I only had two more years of eligibility left. Uh, and I just wanted to try to make the best of those uh, those years. And I felt like uh, Indiana was the place to do it. I already had a relationship with Coach, uh, with Coach Allen. I know he's real big on faith. That's something that me and my family stand on 100%. So I know that was just one thing. And then I already had uh, – being that I was committed here coming out of high school, it was the first school I was committed to. I already had like uh um already had a relationship with the place. So I just felt like why not I mean, don't even waste any time. Uh you already know you already got a relationship with the coach, the head man. Uh you got a relationship with the place already, so why not? And uh, I'm loving every bit of it. Um, what led me to uh, Carolina the first time around was just the fact that uh, Coach Brown was new into the uh, to the program around that time. He had just got hired as a head coach. And around that time, I just felt like me being 18, 19 years old and going 11 hours up, up the road away from home for my family, I, I didn't think that was a, the smartest thing to do because just because, you know, being that young, you get homesick, you got a lot of stuff going on on your mind. So I just felt like, for me to actually at that time, well, what Carolina was going at the time with, coach, with hiring Coach Brown and everything, I felt like that was the best move for me because it was only an hour and 45 minutes away from home. So I'll still be able to see my family, get to see mom, dad, little brother, and I'll be able to go to see them whenever I needed to. And then they were still far away enough to where, like, nobody could kind of, like, come and check in on me whenever, whenever. So <laughs> that, that was kind of the reason why I decided to stay at Carolina the first time. Uh, I feel like every coach would say that he carries himself as a professional on and off the field. Uh, I I try to strive, I strive to the to carry a, a professional mindset because that's one that's at the end of the day that's the that's the end goal for all of us, all the boys on the team. That's the end goal for us. We want to get to that next level. So I try to carry myself, try to carry myself as like having a professional mindset on and off the field. I come in extra early, try to go over uh, extra stuff, extra plays and stuff for the day, come in and watch extra film. Uh, off, the fi off the field, I'm, I'm really laid back, chill. I don't really do too much. I just I hang out. I got a dog. I hang out with my dog. I hang out with some, some of the uh, boys uh, here and there. But for the most part, I'm a homebody. I like to stay around, just chill with my dog, play the game. And when, then other than that, I'm in my playbook. Um, but... If any other coach, they say he has a professional mindset. Uh, he's a hard worker. He don't really talk too much. I really don't talk a lot. But when I do talk, I feel like it, it, it's heard. So, but just a hard worker and just likes to keep his nose down and work. Kevin Keegan. Uh, so he's an XL American bully, and his name is Rocco. Yep. He. Yep. Um, and, and then also, also uh, you know, Coach Henry came in obviously a little late. He was a late hire in, in the spring because of circumstances. Uh, but he's got a pretty impressive resume. I'm just curious about what it's been like working with him and uh, anything that you picked up and maybe you know, kind of a respect level. You have a guy that's working with Jarvis Landry and also about that kind of stuff. You, um, you, you have no choice but to have a respect, uh, have respect for, for a guy like Coach Henry. Um, 
just from his background and where he's come from and the guys he's interacted with, you, you have no choice but to respect it. Um, but since he came, since he's came in, uh, it, it ain't been nothing but great energy. Uh, he comes in every day uh, trying to get us going, carries good energy. He's always trying to talk us up. He, he hates down talking people or just negative talk, period. He always want to speak positivity into people and, and bring spirits up and not bring them down. And he's, all, and he's coaching, and I'm taking nuggets from him every day, trying to, trying to piece those nuggets together just because I know in the long run the end goal is to go where he just came from. So I know that's the man that I, uh, that has all the tools. He's been there. He's lived it. And why not go to him? Hey, Emery. Uh, Keegan Nicholson with uh, the Hoosier.com. Uh, we talked to Connor Bazelak uh, a couple weeks ago, and he told he told us that you guys have been staying at the practice and throwing every now and then. I was just wondering what your relationship has been like with him, both being transfers, both being veteran guys. How have you seen that kind of progress through spring ball? Um, relationship is good. I have a good relationship with all the quarterbacks. I try to uh, talk to them as much as I can, just kick it with them, chill with them. Um, when when I uh, see them around the stadium and everything, and try to get extra work in with them all. But Connor, great guy. Uh, work with him as much as possible. Same thing with Jack, Grant, and the rest of the boys. Dex, all of them. We we all. I I, I want to have a relationship with all the quarterbacks. Uh, because I mean we're one team, and I know we live by uh Leo, which is love each other. So, you I mean you got to have that rapport and relationship with everybody. I mean it, at the end of the day, it's gonna help the whole team out. So I try to have that whole relationship just like with Connor. I had the same relationship with Connor. I got the same relationship with Jack, Grant. And, and from there on down with all the quarterbacks. Uh, Henry, two questions. I mean, um, Coach Bell said that, that the wide receiver position in his offense is different than a lot of other places, and he said it's because of how you manage your grass, basically. The route isn't always, doesn't end up always being what it looks like on the playbook. Uh, wanted to get just have you elaborate on that. Tell us a little bit more about what that means, how different that is uh, to other places. And also you mentioned Connor. A lot of you guys are going to be in different positions than they were last year. Nobody really has, a, especially among the skill positions, an established role. Uh, I've got other, other transfers or they're moving up, but most of the other guys from last year were gone. How does that make – does that make it easier, I guess, to learn a new offense uh, and get used to all this when sort of everybody's in the same place? Um, I, I feel like it, it kind of does because it brings everybody together. Uh, and as, It makes everybody ask for each other's help because, I mean, everybody's kind of in the same boat. Everybody's learning a new offense. It's not like the guys who was already here at Indiana, they already know the playbook type deal. It's everybody start from scratch. So we all going to learn this together. We all can help each other out and, and go from there. Um, and just with how the offense goes, it's just – the, the best way I could tell you is just when you, when you got a set, a set route or whatever, if you see grass – run to it that's that's the best, that's the best uh thing i could tell you i mean because it's coming from some like some uh familiar uh like a familiar scheme from like north carolina i mean it's the same thing kind of managing grass but uh I, I just feel like it's it's more you get more freedom than what you think you do and and, and i that's something we just got to learn and uh, work on over time